Hello everybody, I'm doing another vlog live from my apartment and I'm literally filming this because I got one single comment on my TikTok to post a vlog and I was like, oh, twist my arm if you really want one. Here you go. But the real reason is I just love vlogging so much, you know, keeps me company. I'm about to make a matcha and go to the grocery store. This little ass bag of matcha is like 20 bucks at Whole Foods. You know what? It's fine because it makes like 40 matchas, maybe more than that, maybe like 50 and Starbucks, that would only be like four matchas worth of money. So anyways, I'm wearing my merch if you want some before it's too late. <laughs> more exciting merch coming in the works. Um, I'm really excited for tonight because I'm taking myself on a date. I use my milk frother to stir this. I'm going to the movie theaters by myself to see Avatar The Way of the Water for the second time. I literally saw it last night and now I'm going again because it was so good. Recently, my hyperfixation has been Avatar. I have eat, sleep, breathed, dreamed about Avatar. For the past week, I watched the first one for the first time when I was in Florida. If you wanna watch my Florida video, it's my last upload, I think. I became obsessed, stayed up till 5 a.m. for like a week straight watching every cast interview, every behind the scenes from the past 15 years. And then I saw the second one yesterday. I loved it, I bawled my eyes out, guys. I haven't had a good cry like that in a while. And I bawled at the end. Oat milk? Putting in a little bit of vanilla. And there we have my homemade honey vanilla matcha. It's actually one of the best things I've ever tasted. It's such an acquired taste. I think matcha latte girls are superior. And I used to have a coffee in the afternoon and then it would keep me up all night. This is like my new thing. Coffee in the morning, matcha in the afternoon, and a bedtime tea before bed. I'm nothing without my little daily drinks. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the grocery store now because I'm out of like a bunch of like produce stuff. So I'm gonna go get that. And then I'm gonna bring you with me to the movie theater tonight and we're gonna go on a little date. And then we're gonna hang out here for the next couple of days like always. Hang out with me, cozy, need to clean my apartment. It's just same old, same old. And I just, one person requested it and I was like, who am I to not give the people what they want? When in reality, I just want to be a full-time vlogger. <laughs> okay, I'm back from the grocery store, and I went online to go buy my movie ticket. And I was so excited because I checked, like, right before I went to the grocery store. And I was going to be the only one in the theater. So I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, theater to myself, I'm just going to have a party in there and vlog. And then <laughs> they canceled the showing because no one's in the theater. I'm so pissed. But I'm just going to drive to a theater that's, like, five minutes up the road and go see it. I just bought my ticket. And I'm trying to decide if I should eat dinner right now or if I should just get a large popcorn at the movie theater. <laughs> Dinner secured. I also don't know where my theater is. Oh, found it. Yay, let's go. The movie's over, obviously. I'm on my way back home. I literally hyperventilated, cried again, even though I knew it was gonna happen. Oh my god, that movie's just so fucking good. I honestly had a great time at the movie theater by myself. Like being able to just like focus. I don't know. I was laying down in that recliner, eating my popcorn, having the best time. Oh my God, I almost just tripped over. My room's such a mess. Um, but I really recommend going to the movie theaters by yourself. I didn't feel judged by anyone because it's dark in there. No one cares what you're doing. Even if they did care, I don't really care. What are you gonna say? Oh, that girl has no friends, okay. And <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna take a shower and go to sleep and we'll hang out tomorrow. Good morning, I just woke up. I literally woke up so early at like 7.30 for no reason. I made a giant cup of coffee. It's my favorite mug ever because it's huge. And it says Briar University on it. And now I'm gonna finish with the book I'm reading. I'm reading Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. And I only have like three chapters left. So I'm gonna finish that right now. And I'm like annotating and stuff. This book is giving me a lot of anxiety though because it's about a social media influencer who has a stalker. I mean, it's a romance with someone else, but like, that's like the subplot. Luckily though, the male love interest is the CEO of a security company. So a little bit of reassurance, but. Okay, I finished that book. Now I'm gonna choose another one because I wanna put off doing my homework and cleaning my apartment. So I wanna start a new book. <laughs> this is like my immediate physical TBR. I'm gonna choose one of these. Um, Probably not this because I wanna do a separate video for that and I keep putting it off and putting it off, but I'm gonna do it. And it's been staring at me in the face to just do it already, but not right now. I think I wanna read The Heart Principle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with The Heart Principle. Oh, I think I'm gonna start this one. I 
it's a little while later i did my makeup because i had a business zoom meeting i wanted to look a little bit presentable but now i'm gonna make my matcha and go to the nail salon i think to get my nails fixed i got my nails done literally three days ago and three of them have already broken and i've never had one break before but for some reason this set i had three break in three days like they're just like chipped so i think i'm just gonna go to the nail salon and get my nails fixed i just got back from getting my nails fixed thank god and i just got an exciting package that i'm gonna open but i can't show you of my merch samples for my next merch launch i'm very excited to see this but i can't show you i'm sitting here drinking my tea reading my book i always sit right next to my window on the back of my couch i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i sit here just to look out the window i'm on chapter 15 of my book so i've been making good progress today but i'm a little bit bored right now so i think i'm gonna go to target for fun and buy things that i don't need I feel like getting out of the house going for a drive listening to music why not drive to target um i'm also hanging out with one of my friends tonight i think we're just gonna go on a walk i love going on a walk every single day and i think we're gonna do that in a few hours later tonight me and my friend are gonna zoom call and watch the first avatar together because she's going to go see the second one and i was like i want to watch the first one with you so we're gonna watch it together but she lives in new jersey so we have to do long distance. And obviously I'm down to watch Avatar again because I'm obsessed, so. Okay, I just got back from Target and I got one singular thing. Cookie dough. <laughs> I wanna make cookies. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I don't even have a baking sheet. I literally have to use like a pizza pan. Okay, it's a little while later. I just finished editing a video and now I'm hungry and I'm gonna make dinner with you. And you guys know I'm not much of a chef. I'm really bad at cooking, but I'm so excited today because, oh my God, oh my God, I'm knocking over my camera. Because I got a package from Green Chef. Oh my God. So they send like meal kits where you can cook. We get to choose from these options. I kind of want to do the tacos, breaded cauliflower and peanut sauce tacos. This is a picture of it. This makes it seem pretty easy. Like there's step-by-step -step instructions. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. Oh my God, it's still cold. There's so much food. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's just like in this little bag. And they have options for every lifestyle. Like there's keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, which I am, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So whatever your dietary needs are they got it and it's the number one meal kit for eating well i feel like this is perfect now that we're in the new year because you're getting like convenient wholesome meals from green chef and it's doorstep delivery so you can avoid going to the grocery store oh my god cauliflower and because it's already all measured it's so easy like you don't have to spend time doing that you just get to like mix it all together and do the fun stuff okay i'm gonna follow the step-by-step -step ingredients it says it should only take 30 minutes so let's make some dinner green chef is doing a keto kickoff 2023 like initiative they're introducing an easier way to eat keto and now you can order keto meals for breakfast and dinner so if you're curious about it they have like more keto options available now more than ever so i'm kind of curious to try that as well because i've always been curious about keto i'm gonna do a taste test now I'm so excited. The instructions were just so easy to follow. I felt like a child using a picture book to figure out what I was doing to make sure I wasn't doing it wrong. But now I'm gonna taste test this and I'm so excited. It's so satisfying to eat something that you prepared yourself. Mmm. Oh my God, I'm a chef. So you guys can use my code STEPWAR60 to get 60% off and free shipping. Oh my god, I got it on my sweatshirt. So you can go to greenchef.com for more details and I'll leave all the information in the description box. And now I'm going to polish off these tacos. Mm. It's a little bit later now and it's getting dark outside and I was just watching a movie avatar again <laughs> and then i saw this in my closet and i was like oh my god i want to do that it's a harry potter puzzle and i haven't done a puzzle in a really long time and i thought while i did my puzzle i could just like answer questions like talk to you guys so over the past like couple of weeks i've been thinking as i've been getting back in like the swing of going back to school even though i'm like online and stuff i've been thinking about like what the hell am i gonna do when i graduate in a couple of months because i can move i'm going to move somewhere my whole life is going to be different i'm going to be able to do social media full time and take on so many new and exciting projects that i'm looking forward to a lot that i've had to put off because i'm in school and it's just too much work i'm just like thinking like where am i gonna go <laughs> i feel like the possibilities are endless but also like thinking about the fact that i could literally go anywhere is giving me more stress than if i were just to like have a place where I knew I had to go. But also thinking about moving is so exhausting and draining because I think I've said this before, but 
I've moved once a year for the past like six or seven years. I moved my senior year of high school, then I moved to college, got sent home from college. My parents moved into a new house, moved into a new apartment, moved into a new apartment, studied abroad, and moved here. And here's the longest lease I think I've had, and it's only 10 months, so the longest I've ever lived somewhere is like 10 months, um, which usually I like like being spontaneous and I like change and stuff, but oh my God, moving is so draining and I just hate that like even in this place, like it's a super tiny apartment. Like, I don't have like, even enough room to like unpack. I've lived here since August. I've lived here for like half a year and I still have boxes because I don't have room to unpack. I'm like, I know I need more space because I currently live in a 300 square foot studio and I'm just like so tired of moving and I just want to be like settled down, which I never thought I would say. But like, I want to have like a home base where I feel comfortable and I don't have to keep moving my stuff and I can just unpack my life instead of living out of boxes and suitcases. And like, I just want to like find a place where I can have a home base. Like I literally want to have a house. <laughs> What I'm thinking I'm doing now, like what my plan has been was like, I was just like, oh, I'll find a temporary place for the summer to travel. I just wouldn't bring it, be able to bring all my stuff. I don't have to put it in a storage unit. And I just, I don't know why it's like, that is annoying. Like the thought of that is so annoying to me because it's never bothered me before, but maybe I'm just growing up and I want some stability. I think that just might be it. I can't believe I'm already a senior in college, about to graduate, doing whatever the hell I'm gonna do, which is so exciting, but also so, much to think about why won't this stay when i know something's important and i should think about it i put it off which is really bad but i know i do it it's the same thing like with my text messages like if i know i should respond to a text i don't because it like gives me anxiety for some reason i don't know if anyone else is like this but like the like if i know i have something important to do i just like avoid doing it avoid doing it avoid thinking about it which makes no sense because i know it's important and that's kind of what i've been doing thinking about my future I'm like oh don't think about that that's stressful put it off put it off put it off but that makes me more stressed because then i have no idea what i'm doing and it's just an endless spiral that's currently what's going on in my life it's fine at the end of the day it'll all work out i just want to be like settled and at peace and i feel like i haven't felt like that in a very very long time because i know every time i go somewhere i know i'm just moving in a few months and i'm really sick of feeling that way and i just like want a home <laughs> So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I get a lot of questions about what I'm doing after graduation and where I'm going. And like, I wish I could answer. I really, really wish I could, but I genuinely can't because I don't fucking know. <laughs> but yeah, enough of that topic. I'm doing really shit at this puzzle. Like why are the edges? They're all just like black pieces. Like I actually don't know how I'm supposed to figure out where they go. Even this is bringing me stress. I'm trying to do things that relax me. Anyway, I was going through some of the Q&A questions from the last time I did a QA and and like was picking just like very basic questions, nothing too deep and serious. Because I was like, I don't really feel like getting deep and serious right now. I'm kind of just like want some peace and quiet in my brain. Someone asked what my comfort movies and TV shows are. Comfort movies, Harry Potter, specifically the first one, but all of them in general. My new favorite movies ever are the Avatar movies. Obviously, I've talked about them a million times. But like, I think they're gonna be like my comfort movies forever now. I'm genuinely obsessed. The Hunger Games and Divergent series, always a classic, especially the first Divergent movie. Love it so much. Folklore, Long Pond Studio Session. <laughs> love Rosie, Stuck in Love. Those are probably the movies I've rewatched the most in my life. And then for TV shows, Shameless, I've probably rewatched the most. I love Shameless. Sex Education, The Vampire Diaries, Normal People. Bridgerton, specifically the second season. Gossip Girl. Ask me what my biggest fear is. My biggest fear is being chased by someone. Like, you know, like scenes in movies where someone's getting chased or followed. Specifically, like in the ocean, if I were being sh chased by an animal and I had to swim, because that leads into my next fear is the deep ocean. I'm so scared of like, not being underwater, but being like your legs are just underwater and your head's above water and like all the shit under you. So those two combined, like being chased by someone, even if I was running, like if someone was chasing me, like I'm about to get kidnapped is probably my biggest fear. And then the only way I could get worse is if someone was chasing me in water or something or some creature. <laughs> like that just scares me so much. Another fear, probably getting old. <laughs> I am kind of scared of aging because I'm kind of just scared of dying too. I'm also scared of getting, of being like really happy and in love and like married with kids or like planning to have kids or like pregnant and then getting cheated on 
really awful. What are your guys' fears? I'd love to know if you want to answer please comment down below. Okay, I've honestly made like pretty decent progress with this. Like I got like some sections in almost the whole outside, but I think I'm just gonna stop for now. I'm meeting up with my friend in like an hour. Good morning, I just woke up. It's 7.45 in the morning and I literally went to bed at 3 a.m. Um, I didn't really vlog last night because like I told you, I went and hung out with one of my friends and then me and my best friend watch Avatar over Zoom. <laughs> I think I took like one vlog clip. Get away! Get away from here! She loved it, and now she's going to see the second one, as I knew she would. But now this morning, I just went to get Starbucks, and now I have homework to do. I kind of have a lot. I'm really not in the mood. I know I have to do a discussion board and, like, write. And I just could not think of anything I want to do less, but it's what needs to be done, so. Oh my god, my hair. Okay, my homework is done. Now I'm going to make a matcha, of course, because the afternoon is rolling around. I'm going to go for a walk to get out of the house. Get some exercise, listen to music. And then I'm meeting up with Zoe for dinner. We're trying out this new Mediterranean place and I'm so excited. I always feel like when I'm doing these vlogs, like they're so repetitive and boring because I'm doing the same things every day because this is like my daily routine. But maybe you do your little daily routines with me as I do mine. I would actually love to know what are some of the distinctive things that you do every single day. I've said this before, but I am nothing without my daily little tasks and routines. I think it's so cute that we all have our own little things we do. I'm gonna try to remember to bring you to dinner tonight. Also, it's a cold front in Arizona right now, and it's like 40 degrees, and I'm just like not used to the cold at all, and I literally feel like I'm dying, which is so dramatic. Just not equipped for this. I need to put a coat on. I'm just gonna walk on campus, like around my school. Let's walk. Hello everyone. I'm currently walking to go meet Zoe for dinner and I'm bringing you with me. There's a car, so I'm gonna actually stop. I had to park so far away because I couldn't find parking because I am scared to parallel park on busy roads because it takes me so many tries. Oh my God, I can't even get out right here. I have to go all the way around. <sighs> okay, look, I'm with Zoe. Look how cute this place is. She found it. Why won't it ever focus on its own? I dropped it so many times. I know. Okay, I'm home from dinner now and Zoe brought me my candle that we made and I'm so excited. <laughs> Me and Zoe are making a candle. Met your scent. <laughs> and we have to choose from all of these scents. And then we're gonna concoct it over here. Look, they have a Chardonnay scent. Autumn Lodge. Mmm. Let me sniff. <laughs> oh, smell this one. Smell this one. Mm. Forest. It smells like rain. Zoe just fully gagged and almost threw up. It was so loud. <laughs> Let's see what old books smell like. Yeah, I like <laughs> old books. Smells like stale. Okay, won't be getting that. Good thought though. <laughs> Zoe literally just goes the loudest gag I've ever heard. Everyone's probably like cream. Like that sounds like it would be good. Let me see. It was really cottage cheese. <laughs> oh no. I'll bring a to my eyes. Okay, these are all the ones I chose and we have to pick a combo. Wait, so we, you said? She's yeah. concocting. Yeah. Now I have to do one. The scent has been chosen. Oh, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe's still delivering, I guess. But I think I just committed to mine. Um, my candle looks a little bit like piss, but now I get to make a label. Um, can you tell that we're in our avatar era by era. our candle tags? <laughs> yeah, it's some parts in here. Oh, okay. The scent that I chose was Honeysuckle, Clothesline, and Magnolia. I was trying to find one that smelled like crisp, clean air. It smells so good. I'm gonna light this right now, even though I don't wanna ruin it. This is the place we went to. Candle chemistry. I don't wanna ruin it because it looks so perfect, but I want my apartment to smell like this. I'm very happy with my scent choice. And now I'm gonna take a shower, crawl in bed, and read and fall asleep. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I just got such an exciting package of more items from my upcoming merch launch, except it's more like homeware stuff or like lifestyle stuff rather than like clothes. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. And I really need to clean my apartment, but I don't want to, so I might time lapse myself doing that. Might not, because <laughs> honestly, I don't know why I just feel like doing absolutely nothing, but I feel accomplished today because I wrote an entire paper and I took two quizzes for my class, so I feel really accomplished. And doesn't mean I have to just not do anything else, but like I really don't want to. I just took a shower and I need to clean my room really badly and I keep procrastinating it, so I'm just gonna do it now because I saw this quote and I've been thinking about it for days. I screenshotted it, let me find it. You know those TikTok slideshows of quotes that are just like gut-wrenching? I saw this quote and it like actually inspired me and it says, 
I'm dancing and putting things on hangers. I'm so grateful to be cleaning my room with the window open. And for some reason that just like profoundly stuck out to me. And now I'm going to leave my window open as the sun sets and blast music and I lit my candle. I'm going to clean my room. Anyone else's entire for you page, those like quote slideshows that like make you rethink your entire life because that's mine. what I think is going to be the last and final day of this vlog and that is because it is my last day of being home and sitting at my apartment and doing nothing before I go on a little trip. So I'm packing right now and I thought I would just pack with you. I'm going to Las Vegas for my friend's birthday. I'm so tired right now. I don't know why. I had a coffee and a matcha and I'm still tired. Also, I was working on that puzzle again and I still have like no progress. Like that's all I've done and I was sitting there for like four fucking hours. But anyways, I need to bring like a little black dress. I need to bring a casual like day outfit and like coats because it's me freezing, pack my makeup, hair stuff. And then the rest of today, I need to edit this video because I'm gonna upload it before I go. And then I'm going to spend the night at Zoe's house and then we're gonna drive to Vegas in the morning. I'm thinking this dress, it's from Opali. It's like cinched on the sides and then the front is really low cut lace up. It's really flattering. So I think I'm gonna bring that one. I'm also bringing a corset, a black corset and pants if we do like a more casual dinner. I have this black, very fluffy coat from Fashion Nova. Instead of heels, cause I don't have my toes done right now, I'm gonna go for like these black boots. Very cute. And I could also wear those with the more casual outfit. I kinda wanna bring tights because it's so cold at night when you're like walking in. I have these cute tights I haven't worn yet. They have like little hearts imprinted on them and I think that's really cute. Don't know if it's like a club vibe, but I don't care. I'm prioritizing comfort and warmth over being hot, I guess. Don't really think I need much more. I need to pack my makeup and stuff though. We're literally only going for one night. So like I don't have to bring a lot and I'm trying not to be an overpacker because I don't have a lot of room in this suitcase. <laughs> Um, excuse my hair. I finished packing and now I'm about to leave to go to Zoe's house So I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me these past few days Keeping me company in my apartment. I'm not the rat tail I love doing these vlogs and I like just hanging out with you guys and just doing my little mundane tasks and living a quiet peaceful life But with all that being said if you want to follow me on my other social medias They're all linked down below as always as well as my Amazon storefront and my Goodreads account and I'll see you in my next video very very soon. Bye